In this session, we'll see about update strategy transformation. So it is again an active transformation. It flags a row for insert, update, delete, or reject based on the condition that we gave in that particular transformation. So the scenario here is we need load a target table with the employee data if uh, the salary is greater than 2000 otherwise uh, reject that is either we need to do insert if the salary is greater than 2000 otherwise reject. So uh, let's start creating a mapping here. Okay, finish. So let's take the source table employee. Okay, and then our update strategy transformation. So select all. Okay, now if you see uh, here, we have the ports and update strategy here we need to give the condition based on what condition it should either do an update or insert or reject or delete so in order to do each of these operations we have constants dd underscore insert dd underscore update dd underscore delete or dd underscore reject uh, the table showing the operation and the constant is there in my blog uh, a to z informatica.blogspot.com so let's see the condition if uh, go to ports salary salary is greater than 2000 then dd insert otherwise dd reject So validate this, okay. Uh, there is also numeric value for each of this. For DD insert, it is zero. For DD reject, it is three. Uh, likewise, for update, it is one. And delete, it is two. So next, let's take the target here. Uh, employee update, yeah. It's right, okay. Employee employee name job manager salary and department ID yes so we will validate this mapping and run this So let's check our target data. So if you check here only with salaries greater than 2000 are uh, here. Others have been rejected. So there is uh, one more property in update strategy transformation. If you go to advanced, uh, there are uh, uh, two properties forward reject rows and tracing level so forward reject rows it determines whether the update strategy transformation passes the rejected rows to the next transformation or drop rejected rows so when you check this the data integration service flags the rows for reject and writes them to the re reject file so if you do not select this forward reject rows the data integration service drops the rejected rows and writes them to the mapping log file and again tracing level is the amount of detail that appears in the log for this transformation so there is uh, one more thing here if you see uh, if you see the target you have general ports here here you have the runtime information or uh, uh, connection information. If you go to the advanced properties, you can see uh, update override where delete, insert, truncate, 
update strategy everything is there so we can override the update strategy transformation uh, with these properties so insert is nothing but uh, what whichever column uh, is flagged for insert they would be inserted into the target and delete is also the same whichever is flagged for delete uh, it would be deleted from the target and uh, if you see update strategy there are uh, three options update as update update as insert update else insert so up, uh, update as update it updates all rows flagged for update update as insert it will insert all rows flagged for update and uh, update else insert it does updates all rows flagged for update if they exist in the target and then inserts any remaining rows marked for insert and this truncate target table uh, it truncates the target uh, before loading data so here uh, when you see the update strategy we have two conditions dd insert and dd reject so whichever salary is greater than 2000 the update strategy transformation it marks them for insert so when it goes to the target so here it checks for these properties insert uh, we have checked the value so it will in insert all the rows marked for insert if we uncheck this column then no insert will be performed into our target table for more tutorials on informatica go to a to z informatica.blogspot.com thank you